This week has been about an impatience to get the fourth quartile reinstated, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. The bastard, and by that means those that walk in the bastard Genesis 3 platform, the bastard dwelling Matthews, Marks and Lukes are deniers of fourth quartiles and deniers of the eagle face frequency of truth and spirit. Matthew, Mark and Luke build pyramids for Satan. They speak front of house, even when spiritual pastors present in this, sorry, even when spiritual pastors present to others, don't they, in this non-spiritual forced way of King Saul and his sacrifice. Well, you never turned up, Samuel, so somebody had to do it. No, like Jesus said of his brothers, your time is always with you. John 7. Meditate on that short phrase. It was in the context of an incredibly spiritual thing, namely a Levitical, Leviticus 23 feast that Moses had to go up specially into the mountain to receive from the Lord, together with the other feasts, the tabernacle layout, and all the laws of daily living. So Jesus how can you say, in dismissive terms, your time is always with you? Well, when we follow the Spirit, we are being lifted in manageable portions from our Genesis 3 platform of the whole world living in a pyramid reality into a world where all know the Lord, all know the knowledge of God's glory, all can see light, all can relate directly through infrastructure that is now transparent enough to see God through. Like ants, humanly, we have increasingly less need for command structures, having our own inner command structure to get on with the work that needs to be done today to serve the whole. There's a transition period. There's an awkward midterm where the pyramid structure assumes that it is the real authority and that anything outside of it must be threatening law and order. After the flesh, that is indeed so. But things concerning the Holy Spirit are not like that. No, they're not. That's what was going on in John 7. The, the kingdom was taken from the Jews and all their Levitical practices. The whole of the independent self-platform was both condemned to death inside the lamb that was slain, but more, the previous spirit man that had been contaminated was taken out too. Jesus was both lamb and scapegoat. Your time is always with you was spoken on the day of the highest representation under the law of the Zenith Feast, Tabernacles. But the law on tablets of stone could never make tabernacles truly viable. Jesus was the only person, and he come from God direct, who lived 30 years without baptism in the spirit, not succumbing to the Genesis 3 lie seduction, to come outside of God and play a little, be a player. John stated of Jesus, he came and tabernacled amongst us. Even in their worst flesh, Matthews, Marks and Lukes don't play the devil's game completely. And this is why Rome had to fall. This is why all empires fall. The empire wants to keep playing and playing and playing, but in the end, nobody's playing with them. And as the devil's all-powerful impression of a giant pyramid shows, at the end of the day, it's a house of cards. Facebook can only tell so many community standards lies. And people take their stuff to Rumble and Substack and Patreon. And they lose shares. Whitney Webb's material then becomes two hugely successful books. And Facebook is deemed irrelevant. 
never, ha never having up-to-date information anymore because they shunned it in earlier days. Where are the kids? Now, some of that is the same question as where are the hormones? But some isn't. This is the same in churches. Where are the kids in Anglican, Catholic, URC, Baptist, even, even, even 70s and 80s new churches, as I said? The curses upon Israel were, and the lovers and the children's laughter in the streets are no longer seen nor heard. Psalm 110 talks about the day of great power in the same passage as the dew of the morning, or dew of youth. Large numbers of youth. Like the Passion Conference. How long they will remain passionate? And how long will that be <laughs> until that becomes the next thing that's on every year and dry as dust? Where there's danger of hormones, there's danger that people may also pour all those hormones in first love for Jesus. Same with the passionate fourth quartile. They can be as equally addicted to things as going hard after Jesus and holiness. But one thing is true, they go to the heart of things. Either way, they're dangerous. Your time is always with you. also means safe predictable, unchanging, old gate of Jerusalem, gate three. No exciting fish gate, gate two. No exciting fountain gate, water gate, baptism in the spirit or walking in the spirit gate, six and seven. No exciting mass influx gate, the eastern gate, nine. No exciting double portion gate, gate 11. No painful prison gate. That's the great intercessory gate. Jesus last week, for example. Paul's times in prison. That's gate 12. You, you won't be in any danger of that because you never cross any lines. You're safe. Predictable. Your time is always with you in your pyramid of cards. <laughs>